the visiting Dolphins of Dennis Yarmouth Regional High School. This competition is being conducted according to the rules of the MIAA. Participating student athletes, coaches and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's competition. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. For those in attendance, please adhere to all social distancing protocols of a minimum of six feet while being seated and wear a mask at all times. Thank you. Not Quincy one, they're gonna defer. Dolphins have won the toss and will defend the south goal. The Raiders will kick off and defend the north goal. Captains for the Dolphins, number 12, Henry Matching, number 15, Brady Holmes, number 58, Drew Schlegel, number 78, Michael Nardone. Head coach for the Dolphins is Chris Marsh. For the Raiders, captains number five, Tyler Lee, number nine, Brendan Hines, number 11, Liam Hines, number 44, Matt Craig, and number 66, Brandon Baker. Head coach is Ryan Craig. And now would you please rise and remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem by the Quincy North Quincy Combined Horizons Choir. Welcome to Veterans Memorial Stadium, where today the North Quincy Raiders will play host to the Dennis Yarmouth Dolphins in the opening game for both teams. Okay, well, I thought we might have finished the national anthem. Uh, we had some technical difficulties here in the stadium, uh, and the, the fans finished off the anthem. So we want to thank everyone that, that is in attendance. Uh, as you might know, of course, with the COVID-19 regulations, uh, each uh, player is allowed uh, two people to come to watch the game. If you see fans in the stands, everyone has a lanyard around them, and that allows them to come into the stadium here at, uh, in Quincy. Uh, so uh, there are some fans that helped finish off here uh, the anthem here today. Uh, so as I mentioned, the first game here for the Raiders That's and the Dolphins. For the Raiders, number 28. Uh, number 28 Thomas will be kicking Murray. off for North Quincy. That's Thomas Murray. For the Dolphins, number three, Jaden Moore. And number 11, Ryan Fitzgerald. This is the second game played here at the stadium last night. Quincy and Pembroke played, and Pembroke came out with a 32-21 victory. Great game last night, and hoping for another good one here tonight. Or excuse me, this afternoon. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to this edition of QATV Sports. My name is Jonathan Caleri. Being joined here by Chris Potter, our engineer and director, and Ryan McWade on camera here today. All right, kickoff is going to be fielded by Dennis Yarmouth at about the 15 yard line. And he's going to bring it back to about the 29 yard line. And that's where DUI will start his first drive. 
number three, Jaden Moore on the kickoff return to the Dolphins' 28-yard line. First and ten for the Dolphins. Quarterback is Jaden Moore on the return Henry. for the Dolphins That's and it. brings it up to the, actually they mark it just about at the 30-yard line. Quick pass over to the left side and it's complete two more. And Moore's going to lose a yard in the play. Nice pursuit Quick there by North two, Quincy coming up. Three. Liam Hines for the Raiders to make the tackle, leading the charge. Pick up of one yard. Correction, loss of one. Second and 11. All right, second down, 11 now for the Dolphins. And Hanoff goes up the middle. And nice run there by the Dolphin running back, trying to fight through the line and pushing forward to get a gain of about one on the play. Carried Actually, they got him stay one. number two, Jeremy Campbell. Jeremy Campbell on the carry, and they got to mark him down at the 32-yard line. And give it a pickup of three. Third and nine for the Dolphins. Number 12, Henry Mashnick is the quarterback for the Dolphins in the shotgun. And almost lost the snap, able to pick it back up quickly though. Rolling out to his left, trying to find some space and will get knocked out of bounds there. Try to see the number, looks like it's number 44 for the Raiders. Matt Craig was able to force him out of bounds for a loss of one on the play. 44 for the Raiders, that was Matt Craig. They'll bring up fourth down. The loss of four on the play. Fourth and 13 for the Dolphins. All right, so they're going to mark the ball back at the 27-yard line. So they'll bring it fourth and long now for the Dolphins. And they're going to go for it. And Mashnick will kick it away. High kick, North Quincy's gonna let it bounce and it takes a great roll for the Dolphins. Goes across the 40, still rolling down and up to about the 38 yard line. Quarterback Henry Mashnick. Down by number four for the Dolphins as Reese Folks. First and 10 Raiders. At their own 38 yard line. The quarterback for the Red Raiders. Correction, Raiders number 10, Cooper Hansen. All right, Cooper Hansen will be the quarterback for the Raiders. Hansen, a junior at North Quincy. First drive will start again at the 38 yard line for North. 10 20 left to go here in the first quarter. I formation for the Raiders. Tyler Lee goes in motion. And handoff up the middle for North Quincy. Nice push there at the end. And look like I'm about to the 43 yard line. So a gain of five on first number down for 11. North Quincy. Number 11, Liam number Hines number on the carry. That's a pickup of five. Second and five. Hanson under center for North Quincy. Pitches it over to Hines over to the left side. And Hines able to get away from one tackler and will get close to the first down. Love it. Jackson Blake for the Dolphins came into the backfield, but Hines was able to get away from him. Hines. And Hines will get right up to the first down marker at the 48. Actually, now they're going to move him back now. So they're going to move him up to the 46. So bring up a third and two. They're going to say Hines stepped out at the 46 yard line, so it brings up a third and two for the Raiders. Yeah. 
All right, third and two, four north. Hines on the carry, and looks like he's going to be just shy of the first down. We'll see where they spot him. He got hit behind the line of scrimmage, was able to fight his way for a yard, and they're going to mark him just shy of the first down. And they're going to call for a measurement. Officials time out for a measurement. You can see on your screen that the first down marker is on the, the right side of the 48 and they spot the ball on the left side of the 48. So it looks like he's going to be just shy, but they'll bring out the change just to make sure. And they show by Cameron Ryan McWade to zoom in there and they're going to be bought. A half of uh, football shy of the first down. Just shy of the line to gain. That'll bring up fourth and inches for the Raiders. So we'll see what North Quincy does. Looks like quarterback Cooper Hanson is going out there and they're going to go for it here on fourth and inches for North Quincy. Again, ball at the just shy of the 48. And Hanson's going to keep it, and he pushes forward over to the left side, and does a nice job there to get the first down. That play results in a first down. And they're going to mark him down at the 49. Again, enough for the first down. Coming up on eight and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. We are scoreless. This is the opening drive of the game. Excuse me, for the North Quincy opening drive. Dennis Yarmouth had a punt on their opening drive. Hanson's going to pitch it over to the right side. Thomas Murray on the carry. Number 28 for North Quincy. Gets across the 50. Still put his forward. Nice job there by Murray to keep his feet moving. He'll cross the 45 and get up to the 44 for North Quincy. Ball carried by number 28, that's Thomas Murray, across the 45-yard line of D.Y. So bringing a uh, second down and three at the seven-yard carry second by Murray. Quarterback Cooper Hansen under center for North Quincy. And they give it to Murray over the left side, and Murray has some space and picks up the first down. Nice tackle there by Dennis Yammer to bring Murray down. Coming up to the tackle was Zachary Carey, but Murray will get up to the 35 and enough for the first down. To the 37 yard line of DY. Result of that play is a Raider first down. All right, first and 10 for North Quincy. Get ball at the DY 37. Hanson rolling up, being pressured, and he's going to get sacked and brought down there. Nice play by Drew Schlegel to bring him down for the big sack. Drop for a loss back to the 46 yard line. Bring up so it's a, and 19. it's a nine yard loss for North Quincy after the sack. Hanson was trying to make something happen, rolling out to his right there, but Shaligo was able to break through and bring him down. So a big loss there on first down. So bring up second and 19 now for North Quincy.
Pitch to the right side. Lee Himes back in the game at running back. He's going to fight his way up to the 41, it looks like. It's a five yard gain for Hines. Hines on the carry to the 41. The pick up a five. That'll bring up third and 14 for the Raiders. So third and long now here for North Quincy. Hanson looking at pass, and again, he's going to get pressured and brought down there. Coming up for the sack this time was number 51, Stevenson Ocean. So North Quincy on their two pass plays here. They've been brought down and had two sacks on each of the passing plays. So North Quincy will now be forced to punt as the ball gets marked all the way back to the 47. Fourth and 20 for the Raiders. Number 28, Thomas Murray back to punt for the Raiders. Four minutes and 30 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Thomas Murray, number 28, back deep to kick it away. And high snap goes over Murray's head. We'll see if he can kick it away. And he just does get the kick away before it was blocked. And it's going to take a friendly roll for North Quincy. Get up to the 30 and to the 29 yard line. So great job there by Thomas Murray to go back and kick that ball away. Could have been a huge loss, but Murray's able to make a nice effort. Back on offense, first and 10. Officially from their own 29 yard line. And timeout on the field with four minutes and 12 seconds to go here in the first quarter. And after each team has had a drive, they have each punted, so we are scoreless. I encourage you to uh, log on to Quincy Access TV's website at qatv.org for program schedules, membership information, and much, much more. So again, qatv.org. We're happy that we're going to be able to stream all the games, uh, high school football games here in this fall two season happening in the spring uh, on qatv.org slash sports and also show them live on QATV channel 8. Glad that we're able to help out and do the best we can to get as many people watching the games live as they're happening. Again, as I mentioned at the top of the telecast with uh, the limited amount of people that can come here in the stadium. So glad that we can kind of help out and make that happen for uh, North Quincy and, of course, the Quincy Presidents as well. North Quincy will be on the road next week, next Friday the 19th, uh, playing Pembroke High School, who we saw last night here at the stadium playing against uh, Quincy High. Uh, so they'll be on the Pembroke next week. And then uh, North Quincy will be home for three weeks in a row on Thursday, March 25th, playing Plymouth South. On Thursday, April 1st, against Hanover. And then on Friday, April 9th, here at the stadium at 7 p.m. against Quincy High School for the annual Crosstown matchup. Uh, certainly will be different than on Thanksgiving morning, but it'll be a little bit different and maybe a little exciting as well as a Friday night under the lights, uh, something the two schools have not had in a long, long time, or possibly ever, uh, obviously dating back on all the Thanksgiving Day games and uh, dating back before lights were here at the stadium as well. All right, first down and pass is over to the left side, uh, to the right side, excuse That's me, complete. for Dennis Yarmouth, pass complete to Jaden Moore, and he's going to get right up to the, the first down marker. Moore. Close to the first down. So we're going to say a gain of what, nine and a half on first down there for the Dolphins. And Henry Mashnick, the quarterback for DY. High snap, he's able to bring it down. He's going to keep it himself and try to run for the first down. And it looks like he's going to be short or right at the marker. And it is just over the line to gain for a Dolphins first down. And, there, and Mashnick is able to get the first down. Gets the one yard he needs. Mike Palastretti came up to make the tackle for North Quincy. Oh, 
Mashing pass is complete over to the right side to number 15 for the Dolphins. That's Brady Holmes, and he's going to get wrestled out of bounds. And we'll see if they mark him down at the DY46. So that's a pickup of six yards. Second and four for the Dolphins. Match the current step the screen and it is incomplete. Just goes over the outstretched arms of Antonio White. Screen pass. So balls incomplete. Incomplete. But third down. Number 22, Antonio White was the intended receiver. That'll bring up third and four for the Dolphins. So third and four now for a DY ball at their own 46 yard line. Clock stopped at 2.27 here in the first quarter. And Mashley's going to hand it off over to the right side. Nice pursuit there by North Quincy. And it looks like it's going to be a gain of maybe one on the play. We'll see where they spot the ball. Antonio White, the ball Antonio carrier. White the carry. Pick up of two. Gonna bring up fourth and two for the Dolphins. So fourth and two now for D.Y. They need to get to midfield for the first down. Mashing's not keeping himself. And let's see, looks like North Quincy's gonna hold him. Nice job by North Quincy. Looked like making an initial hit was Matt Craig, number 44 for the Raiders to hold up Mashtick and then he allowed the rest of the team to come and bring him down. It'll be a gain of about one, but not enough for the first down. So nice job by North Quincy for the turnover on downs. From their own, no, they're across midfield. So at the DY 49 yard line. So at 148 here in the first quarter, North Quincy will take over at the DY 49 yard line after the nice stop there on fourth down by the defense. All right, Cooper Hansen again, the quarterback for the Raiders, number 10. He's gonna hand it over to the left side. Looks like it was Michael Gorman on the carry, and it was number 34 for the Raiders. Ball carried by number 34, Michael Gorman. To the 45 yard line. That's a pickup of four, second and six for the Raiders. He spot the ball just shy of the 45 yard line. Hanson, play action fake, looking to pass. Fires over the right side and incomplete was looking for number 12, Jamal Maximilian for the Raiders. Maximilian laid out for it but could not bring Jamal it in. Maximilian. Number 15, Brady holds here defensively for the Dolphins. They'll bring up third and six for the Raiders. So third and six now for North Quincy. We're at 56 seconds left to go here in the quarter. Maximilian and Tyler Lee go wide to the right for North Quincy. Hanson looking to pass, and it goes through the hands of Liam Hines, and it will fall incomplete. Tyler Lee was also in the area for North Quincy as well, and North Quincy is going to kick it away here on fourth down. Number 28, Thomas Murray. 
So the North Quincy's second punt. On the previous punt, the snap went over the head of Murray, but he made a great play to still get the kick away and make sure it wasn't a, a big loss. So good snap here and a good kick by Murray. And going to be fielded by D.Y. at their own six-yard line. And getting up to about the 20-yard line was the returner. Tripped up by number four for the Raiders, Jackson. And it looked like it was number three, Jaden Moore, on the return. And ten Dolphins from their own 20. For the Dolphins. So they mark it at the 20 yard line, so first and 10 for the Dolphins. 39 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Looking to pass on first down, down the field, and it is almost picked off there by Tyler Lee. Pass was intended for number 11, Ryan Fitzgerald. Was intended for number 11, Ryan Fitzgerald. Second and ten for the Dolphins. Let's bring up second down now for the Dolphins. Henry Mashnick, the quarterback for DY, looking to pass, being pursued out of, and he's going to get brought down. Flag thrown on the play. Might be a face mask. Taken down. Flag on the play. The officials down there trying to figure it out. It looked like Again, it might have been a face mask as Mashnik was getting turned around and brought down. And they're moving the football back up the field. Personal foul, face mask. They mark the ball at the 18 yard line. Mashed it quick to pass over to the right side, and it is complete to number 15, Brady Holmes. And Holmes will get a pass to 20 to about the 22, 15. maybe the 23. We'll see where they mark him down. Brady Holmes, taken down, uh, taken down by number 28, Thomas Murray. Going to bring up third and six. And they're going to spot the ball at the 24-yard line. And that is going to be the end of the first quarter here at Veterans Memorial Stadium, where we are scoreless. Just a few public service announcements here. To all the fans, please refrain from standing on the fence. Please make sure to sit socially distanced in the stands. You should Everyone, be there thank you for tuning in to this edition of QA TV Sports. My name is Jonathan Clary. Thanks for watching this edition. Where North Quincy Red Raiders, or excuse me, North Quincy Raiders are hosting the Dennis Yarmouth Dolphins here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. A little different with the uh, spring football here, with the, uh, of course, the, the pandemic going on. Uh, football got postponed from the fall, uh, and the MIAA made a uh, quote unquote fall two season uh, that has started this weekend and will go until about the beginning of May, or excuse me, the uh, end of April, I should say. Uh, and that's when the, the spring season will kick up after that.
I mentioned earlier that uh, last night here at the stadium, Quincy High hosted the Pembroke Titans, and it was a nice game. Uh, Pembroke was able to have a little bit more big plays in their back pocket, though, and they came out with a 32-21 victory over the Presidents. Uh, but it was an exciting game, uh, and uh, busy weekend to kick things off here for high school football here in the city of Quincy. Uh, next week, both teams will be away with North Quincy at Pembroke and Quincy High at Plymouth South. So after a doubleheader here this weekend, both teams will be away next. And we're going to have flags thrown. Looks like North Quincy jumped off sides. And if that's the case, it'll bring up a third and one instead of a third and six. And it was. Offside gives the Raiders five-yard penalty. That'll bring up third and one for the Dolphins. All right, so ball at the 29-yard line for the Dolphins. And again, it brings up a third and one now. Henry Mashnick, the quarterback, in the shotgun. And it's going to hand it off. North Quincy comes right up and makes a big stop there on third down. Looked like there might have been a hole there initially for number 22, Antonio White, but quickly he got brought down by a bunch of Red Raiders, and they're going to spot the ball at the 27. They'll bring up fourth and four for the Dolphins. Fourth and a long three for D.Y. Mashnick looking to pass, looking over to the left side, and it goes incomplete. Looked like he was trying to find Antonio White, but it goes down the ground. Thomas Murray on the coverage for the Raiders, and North Quincy will force a turnover on downs. All right, so it brings up a first and 10 for North Quincy. Again, ball at the DUI 27 yard line. The Dolphins turn it over on downs. First and 10 for the Raiders at the DUI 27 yard line. So North Quincy's defense is able to hold off DUI. They've, Dennis Hamilton had a punt, turnover on down, turnover on downs on their three possessions. See if North Quincy can turn some points we we'll put some points on the board now. Hand off goes to Thomas Murray. Nice play there by D.Y. to come up and make the play. It looked like it was Jeremy Campbell coming up along with Reese Folks. We'll give it a pick up of two. Second and eight. Market ball at the 25, so a gain of two for Murray. Second down and eight for the Raiders. Cooper Hansen under center. Gives it to Liam Hines. Hines is going to get tripped up in the backfield. Nice job there by number 54 for D.Y. Jackson Blake to come up and trip Hines in the backfield. Hines able to fall forward across the 25 for a gain of one, it looks like, though. And they mark it up at the 24, so it is a gain of one. Again, third and long for North Quincy. I formation behind Cooper Hansen. Play action fake, and he's going to get hit and sacked. Coming up to make the initial hit was Jackson Blake again. Back-to-back -back plays there for Blake. And Hansen is going to get sacked all the way back to the 34-yard line. They're going to mark him down at the 32, actually. That's where forward progress was stopped, they'll say. So 
So brings up a fourth and about 15 now for North Quincy. So fourth and 15. 8.54 for left to go here in the second quarter. And it looks like Dennis Yarmouth is going to call a timeout. And they do. Timeout, Dolphin. So at the 8.37 mark, Dennis Shamath calls a timeout, and North Quincy will go to the sidelines with a fourth and 15 when they come back for the play. Head coach Ryan Craig for the Raiders over on the sidelines talking things out along with F offensive coordinator Matt, uh, Matt McNamara, excuse me. Also the other offensive coordinator, Martin Dunham. All right, here we go, back to action. Cooper Hanson, the quarterback under center for North Quincy. Fourth and 15, Hanson looking to pass, looking down the right sideline, has a man open, and it is complete to Colm Gary, and he's going to be all the way up to the one yard line. Great job there by Colm Gary to go up, get that pass, and come down. Ball be placed at the one yard line. So a big play there for North Quincy, and they finally spot the ball at the two-yard line. So a 30-yard gain for the Raiders. And oh, they're going to put the ball at the one-yard line. So first and goal from the one for North Quincy. Liam Hines gets the ball into the end zone for the touchdown. Liam touchdown. Hines and the North Quincy Raiders, Raiders and they take a six point lead here in the second quarter with 7.59 left to go. 7.59 remaining in the first half. The Raiders are on the board. That was all set up from the play before on the 31 yard touchdown pass from Hanson to Colm Gary. Gary went up again and got that play. Went over the outstretched arms of the defender from Dennis Yarmouth and was able to bring it back down. And now North Quincy will come out here for the extra point attempt. Thomas Murray will kick it away and Liam Himes will hold. We're on their ass! We're on their ass! Number 28, Thomas Murray will attempt the point after. Number 11, Liam Himes to hold. Right, good snap, good hold. Kick is up and it is good. Nice kick there by Murray. Good. So Murray puts on the extra point and North Quincy will have a 7-0 lead again with 7.59 left to go here in the second quarter. That last drive by North Quincy was set up on the turnover and downs from Dennis Yarmouth. Defense came up with a big play uh, for North Quincy. And North Quincy was able to go 27 yards on five plays. Again, on the one-yard touchdown run by Liam Hines. Right. 
Thomas Murray will get ready to kick it away for North Quincy. Back deep to receive for the Dolphins are Ryan Fitzgerald and Brady Holmes. Number 28, Thomas Murray set to kick off for the Raiders. Nice kick there by Murray. Goes through the hands of number 11, Ryan Fitzgerald. He picks it up at the five yard line and he's gonna slip and get brought down at about the 15. Coming up there to make some pressure was Brian Rodriguez for North Quincy. And D.Y. will be deep in their own territory to start this drive. First and 10 Dolphins. Again, ball at the 15-yard line for the Dolphins, first and 10. Mashnick over to his left to pass, and it goes through the hands of the receiver, who actually was thrown behind him. He couldn't come up and get it. It was intended for Ryan Fitzgerald. Ryan Fitzgerald, the intended receiver. They'll bring up second and 10 for the Dolphins. Second down for D.Y. Mashlick again to pass and is almost picked off there by Tyler Lee. Oh, he had a full head of steam and was going to walk into the end zone but just couldn't bring it in. That'll bring up third and ten. That's right, so a third down now for the Dolphins. Back to back passes have gone incomplete for quarterback Henry Mashnick. Four receivers set now for the Dolphins. Mashnick looking at pass, looking at pass, getting pressure from behind, and he's going to get sacked by North Quincy. Great job there by the Raiders. North Quincy says they have the ball, but they'll say Mashnick was down. And they're gonna mark him down at the 10. Mike Paul is ready for North Quincy. Over there on the tackle for Raiders. Also over there was Matt Craig as well. That's gonna bring up a fourth and 15 for the Dolphins. Number 44 back to punt. That's Theo Lavoy. Theo Lavoy will kick it away for the Raiders. Number 22 for the Dolphins. And D.Y. is trying to get the 11th man on the field. Just do get him on. Less than 10 seconds, and they do get the kick off. Ball's going to bounce, and it's fielded by number 22 for the Raiders, Hunter McIsaac. He feels it at the 45, and it'll be a... At the Dolphin 45, brings it to yeah, the 40. Yeah, see, we're going to mark up to the 40-yard line. Down by number 65, Caleb Katoya for the Dolphins. First and 10 Raiders. So North Quincy with great field position. They actually marked the ball at the 39-yard line of D.Y. So North Quincy will have back-to-back -back short fields on their drives. And... 
And there's an official timeout in the field. They're going to say it's the midway through the quarter, and that is the mandatory water break between the quarters. So at 6-13, North Quincy with a seven-point lead, and again, a short field to work with when they come back from the timeout. We'll take a quick timeout here as well and be back with coverage in just a second. Once again, fans, please refrain from standing on the fence. Please make sure you are sitting socially distanced from each other. A row in between each group, sit with household members only. Wear a mask at all times, and please have your lanterns visible. Thank you. All right, teams come back out on the field. We first and ten for the Raiders again at the DY 39-yard line. 6:13 left to go here in the second quarter. Quarterback number ten, Cooper Hansen, for the Raiders under center. Liam Hines on the carry right up the middle of the field, and he's going to get a gain of about five on the play. Was brought down by number 60, Levens Lewis. Taken down by number 53. I spot Hines down at the 36 yard line, so we'll bring up a second down and seven. Thomas Murray on the carry this time over to the left side, has the first down, and actually he's going to get brought down right at the first down marker. They might give him a little bit more on the play. And it looks like they will have the first down for North Quincy as they mark Murray down at the 27 yard line. He needed seven and he got nine. Result of that oh, nice play there by Thomas Murray. First down. Ball be placed at the 27 yard line at GY. Murray again in the carry, was looking to go up the middle, cuts over to the left side, finds a hole, and we'll get across the 20 up to the 15 Murray. yard line. Another nice run there by Thomas okay. Murray, and another first down for North Quincy. Taken down by number three, Jake Moore. Also number 54, Jackson Blake. Result of that play is another Raider first down. First down for North Quincy. And at the 15 yard line. Hines on the carry this time. He's hitting the backfield and brought down. Levens Lewis comes up there and also looked like it was number 54, Levin Jackson Hines Blake. On the carry. And they're going to spot Hines down at Take the down 14, so a gain of one. No Riley for the Dolphins. The pickup of one. Second and nine. Jamal Maximilian goes wide to the left for North Quincy. Thomas Murray, the fullback position this time, gets the ball and they're going to mark him down at about the 13 yard line. 
So only a gain of one there for North Quincy. Bring it by third and eight. Taken down by number 23, David Azor of the Dolphins. And number 30, Alex Sheffield White. That was a pickup of two, third and seven for the Raiders. Hines on the carry, over to the left side, breaks through one tackle, spins off another, gets inside the 10, Goodbye. up to about the eight yard line, but he'll be shy of the first down. Tripped up by number three, that's Jaden Moore. Ball was to the eight yard line of the Dolphins. Bring up fourth and three for the Raiders. All right, so it's fourth down for North Quincy. Number 28, mm -hmm. Thomas. Two Murray. minutes and 15 seconds left to go, and goal. North Quincy will attempt the 11, field goal. Liam Hines, to hold. Liam Hines will hold it, and they're going to hold it at the 15 yard line. So, a 25 yard field goal attempt. Good snap, good hold, kick is up, and it is good. So 25-yard field goal by Thomas Murray. Puts another three points on the board and makes it a 10-point lead for the Raiders, 10-0. field goal for number 28, Thomas Murray. The Raiders are on the board again with 158 remaining in the first half. The score is now North Quincy 10, Dennis Yarmouth 0. Uh, one minute and 58 seconds left to go here in the quarter. North Quincy again up now 10-0 over Dennis Yarmouth. Number 28, Murray will kick off right. for the Raiders. Thomas Murray again will kick it away for North Quincy. Deep to receive for the Dolphins, number three, Jake Moore. Brady Holmes will field it at his own 15-yard line, has some space up the middle of the field. And a big tackle there for North Quincy. And it looked like it was number 25 to make the tackle for North, Sean Jackson. By number 25, that's Sean Jackson for the Raiders. First and 10. And they're going to spot 29-yard line. Holmes down at the 29-yard line. First and 10, D.Y. And they're going to hand it off over to the right side to number one, Jeremy Campbell. And he's met in the backfield and brought down. One, Jeremy Campbell on the Brought carry. down there by number 79 for North Quincy, Harry Guadiano. Harry Guadiano. Loss on the play. Second and 12 for the Dolphins. Pass over to the right side, and we'll see if they say he caught it, and he did. Wow, nice catch there by that number three, Jaden Moore, at the 34-yard line. Jaden Moore, 
Should make it the 33. Nice effort there by Moore to make that catch. Penalty marker on the play. There's a flag on the play as well, so we'll see what the flag is. And and they're going to wave the flag off, so no penalty. So that means the ball no will penalty. get marked at the 33-yard line for Dennis Yarmouth. 108 left to go here in the quarter. So that will bring up third and seven for the Dolphins. And the clock begins to tick now at one minute to go. Henry Mashnick, the quarterback for the Dolphins, calls for the ball. Over to the left side, pass is incomplete. He was looking for number 11, Ryan Fitzgerald, but they cannot connect. Pass is incomplete. That was intended for number 11, Ryan Fitzgerald. They'll bring up fourth down. So fourth and long now for DY. They're going to go for it. 45 seconds left to go here in the first half. Trips to the left for DY. Mashnick looking to pass, looking, looks over the middle of the field, has a man open, and it's actually picked off by Liam Hines at the 40 yard line for North Quincy. Hines has some space down the left sideline with some blockers in front of him, and he's going to get pushed out of bounds at the 30 yard line by Drew Schlegel. But Liam Hines came out of his center field position to make the interception, and a late, late flag is thrown as well. Late coming flag on the play. Foul. It's going to be a personal foul against DY. So they add on 15 yards from the end of the run. And that will spot the ball at the 15 yard line. First and 10 Raiders from the DY 15. All right, so it's going to be first and 10 for North Quincy at the 15-yard line. 32 seconds left to go in the half. So North Quincy has a couple of timeouts in their pocket as well. 
See if they can make something happen here in the last 32 seconds. Cooper Hansen under center for North Quincy. Hand it off to Thomas Murray. Murray makes a nice play in the backfield to get a couple of yards. Will get brought down at the 13-yard line, and North Quincy quickly calls a timeout. By number 58, Drew Schlegel for the Dolphins. Pickup of three, second and seven. Stop the clock at 25 seconds. Three-yard gain for North Quincy. Bring up a second and seven. Second down for North Quincy. Hanson looking to pass, looking for Colm Geary in the end zone, and it is incomplete. Hanson was on the run, couldn't get enough on that throw to reach him in the end zone. Looking for number 88, Colm Geary. They'll bring up third and seven for the Raiders. We're going to have third and seven now for North Quincy. 19 seconds left to go in the quarter. Once again, rolling out, being pressured, trying to set up a screen pass to Colm Gary, and he's going to get brought down at the 10-yard line. Nice tackle there by number 15, Brady Holmes, and North Quincy quickly calls a timeout. And we have fourth down for the Raiders. And we do spot him down at the 10. Eight seconds left to go. And number 28. Actually, it looks like they're adjusting the. Trying to adjust the clock a little bit. Number 11, is, to hold. Look like initially they're trying to put some extra time on the clock, but they're going to leave it here at 8.8 .8 seconds left to go. North lines up for the field goal attempt. Good snap, good hold. Kick is up and almost blocked. And this is going to go wide left. Pressure no there by number 15, Grady Holmes. Might have affected Murray's kick there oh. as he was trying to rush it away. We get halftime. The score is for Quincy Red Raiders 10. Raiders All right, and, and they're going to say that is the up. end of the half as well. So at the end of the first half here of play, North Quincy leads by a score of 10 to nothing. We'll take a quick timeout and be back here at the end of the half and beginning of the third quarter. Again, you're watching QA TV Sports here from Veterans Memorial Stadium, North Quincy 10, Dennis Yarmouth 0. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back everyone to Veterans Memorial Stadium. We're at the half. The North Quincy Raiders lead the Dennis Yarmouth Dolphins by a score of 10 to nothing. Real quick, we'll run down some stats at the half. First for North Quincy. Quarterback Cooper Hansen is two of five passing for 33 yards and has one 
31 of those yards came on the pass to Colm Gary uh, in the second quarter that set up the first touchdown for the Raiders. Uh, rushing the ball, Liam Hines has eight attempts for 24 yards, and Thomas Murray has seven attempts for 41 yards. Hines, Hines excuse me, also has the one-yard touchdown run. Colm Gary has both receptions for North Quincy for all 33 yards. For Dennis Yarmouth, quarterback Henry Mashnick is 5 of 12 passing for 26 yards. Rushing the ball, uh, hasn't been a lot on the ground for Dennis Yarmouth here. Henry Mashnick, the quarterback, has three attempts. Jeremy Campbell has two attempts for one yard, and Antonio White, two attempts for no yards. And then on receiving side, Jaden Moore has three receptions for 14 yards, and Brady Holmes, two catches for 12. So as I halftime stats here at Veterans Memorial Stadium as we get ready for a second half coverage. My name is Jonathan Caleri from Quincy Access TV. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of QA TV Sports. Being helped out here today by Chris Potter, our director and engineer, and Ryan McWade on camera. All right, we're ready. Uh, DY will kick it away to begin the second half. Theo Lavoy. Lavoy with a short kick fielded by North Quincy. Ball comes loose, but they're able to jump on it. Number 54, Brian Rodriguez, who's in the middle, comes up with it and will pounce on it at the 35 yard line. Players shaking up down the field for Dennis Yarmouth at midfield. Train is out there taking a look. It was uh, number 44, Theo Lavoy, the kicker, who got injured on the play. Not too sure what happened. But definitely cannot put any pressure on his left foot, so hopefully Theo's okay. All right, we've got first and 10 for the Raiders from their own 35-yard line. The quarterback is number 10, Cooper Hansen. I know if Quincy starts on their own 35 yard line. Number 11, Liam, Liam Hines, Hines on, the on the carry, and a lot of effort just to get back Taking to the line of scrimmage. No gain. That's Drew Schlegel. There was no gain on the play, second and 10. Cooper Hansen off to Hines again this time. Hines up the middle, has a hole, and will get brought down right at the first down marker. They spot him down at the 45 yard line. We'll see if they. And first down it is. On the defensive stop for DY. And they're going to call it a Raider first down. And 
Hines again, nice the carry Hines there. Back-to-back the -back first downs for North Quincy. Dolphins. Hines this time goes over to the left side. The and we'll get into Dolphins territory up to the 44. For another Raider first down. <laughs> First and ten for the Raiders at the DY forty four. And flag thrown on the play. Looks like North Quincy might have jumped. Healthy marker. And it is against North Quincy. Full start. Gets the Raiders. Five yard penalty. They'll make it first and 15. Hines on the carry again, gets hit at the 50, Babels fight his way forward up to about the 47 yard line for a gain of about three on the play. Number 11, Liam Hines on the carry. Pick up a three. Second and 12 for the Raiders. Second down and long for the Raiders. Hanson looking to pass. He's going to get hit immediately as he just went to throw the ball. Throw the ball, excuse me. And coming up with it was number 60, Levens Lewis, on the sack. It's number 60, Levens Lewis, on this top defensive. And they're going to spot him down at midfield, actually, on just on the North Quincy side of the field. The Raiders. Eight and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. So third and about 16 to go now for North Quincy, ball at midfield. Hanson, a quick pass, he's under pressure, ball gets thrown up and Colm Geary comes in just to knock it away so it doesn't get intercepted. Jaden Moore and Brady Holmes were the defenders there for Dennis Yarmouth who could have come up with the interception but again, Colm Geary just came away and knocked it down. Thomas Murray back to punt for the Raiders. Number three, Jaden Moore deep to receive for the Dolphins. And so on fourth down, North Quincy will be forced to kick. Thomas Murray gets a nice kick. And all the way back to the 10 yard line goes Jaden Moore and he called a fair catch. And they're actually going to spot him down at the 13 yard line where the fair catch was called for. At his own 13 yard line. First and 10 Dolphins. That's so a DY comes to the line, first and 10 at their own 13 yard line. Henry Mashnick. Henry Mashnick, the quarterback, looking to pass, and the ball gets almost knocked down, but it's complete to number 11, Ryan Fitzgerald. Somehow, Colin yeah, Gary did not knock that ball down. He jumped it right in front of Mashnick, but 
Nashank was able to complete the ball up to about the 20 yard line. The pick up of seven, second and three for the Dolphins. Mashik's going to keep it over to the left side. He gets knocked out of bounds there by Tyler Lee. The and they're going to mark him out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. So the pickup of four, result of that play, is the Dolphins' first and down. And they're going to say the 24 yard line is where he got knocked out of bounds, and it's enough for the first Ball down for DY. 24 yard line of DY. Hanf goes to number one. Jeremy Campbell over to the right side, turns the corner, and well carried by number one. Get up to about the Jeremy Campbell. See where they spot him down about the 28-yard line. It looks like pick up of four, second and six. Mash the hands it off. This time Antonio White gets the ball. And White is going to get a gain of maybe one on the play. Actually, no, excuse me. They're going to say. Ball carried by number 22. Gets across the 30 Antonio to about the 31. Across the 30 to the 31. So bring up a third and three now. Coming up on five minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Nashnick looking pass, quick pass over to his right and it is complete. Nice catch there by number 15 for the Dolphins, Brady Holmes. Number 15, Brady Holmes. Also, that play is a Dolphin first down. And they're going to mark him down at the 37 yard line. And it will be enough for the first down. And official timeout on the field for the water break. That is one of the new rules here for. The COVID-19 regulations for the MIA has put out and about midway through the quarter where there's an appropriate time to stop, the officials will call for a timeout so players can get water and also take a quick mask break as if they will. Um, can't really see it from up here on our camera angle but everyone, all the players are wearing masks down on the field and you can see the coaches with masks of course down there as well. Has to be a little tough for the players running up and down the field uh, with the mask on. Some of them have been playing with masks on for, for soccer, basketball, hockey, and other different sports uh, that have been playing on, but it is still kind of tough down there running at full speed with the mask on. So try to give them a little bit of a break at some time between the quarter. North Quincy on top here, 10 nothing. Teams come back out. And 447 left to go here in the quarter. 
Mashnik drops the ball, picks it back up, and he's going to get sacked. Nice job there. Actually, we'll see North Quincy might come up with it, and they do. North Quincy oh, picks up the fumble. By the Raiders. And great job there by North Quincy to get the ball as Mashnik could not hold on to it. And we have a couple players down, though. One for each team. Looks like his quarterback, Henry Mashnik, is down for DY, and I can't see the number for for North Quincy. We actually have two players shaken up. That's number 12, Henry Magic. Let's uh, hope he's okay. Looks like it might be number 79, Harry Guadiano. Guadiano, excuse me, for North Quincy. Mashnik is up and walking. That's number 79. Gaudiano for the Raiders. Let's hope he's okay, folks. is up for North Quincy as well. Great defensive play by Gaudiano. And they mark the ball at the 28-yard line where North Quincy will take over. That's going to be first and 10 Raiders at the 28-yard line of D.Y. And North Quincy will get Another great starting position here for the third time this game against D.Y. <laughs> so first and ten for North Quincy. Again, North on top by a score of 10-0. 439 left to go here in the third quarter. Cooper Hansen, the quarterback for North Quincy, comes under center. Looking to pass, and he's going to get sacked from behind. DY trying to strip the ball. Whistle finally blows. Looked like it was Levens Lewis again coming up to make the initial stop, or the, excuse me, the sack, I should say, for DY. That's Levens' second sack here tonight. Bring up second and third. And they're going to mark the ball back to the 31 yard line. Second and 13 after the three yard sack. Hansen gives it to Liam Hines. Hines up the middle, over to the left side now, has some space, heads up the first down and more, gets inside the 10-yard line for North Quincy. Big run there by Liam Hines. All the way to the 10-yard line. They're going to spot it officially at the 11. First and 10, Raiders. So they mark Hines down at the 11-yard line, a 20-yard gain for Hines. And I'll bring up now first and 10 for the Raiders at the 11. <laughs> Ball at the 11 yard line for North Quincy. They give it to Hines. Hines hitting the backfield, evades two defenders over to the left side. And nice run there by Liam Hines just to make something happen there. And let's see where they spot him out of bounds. Looks like they're about the six yard line. And they do mark him down at the six. It's going to be second down and five. Hines again in the carry over to the right side, trying to fight his way forward to the end zone, and he's going to be just shy. 
Going to go down to the one yard line, the officials say, but it will be enough for a first down. Just short of the goal line, but it is far enough for a Raider. First down, first and goal to go inside the one. So first and goal from the one for North Quincy. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Murray and Hines in the backfield behind quarterback Cooper Hansen. Hansen's going to keep it himself, pushes his way forward, and touchdown, North Quincy. Touchdown. Cooper Hansen with a nice effort to get number through three. into the end zone. Calls his own number. That gives so North Quincy a 16 0 lead with a point after attempt to come. 51 remaining in the third quarter. The Raiders are on the board again. Thomas Murray will come out for the extra point attempt. Point after attempt, number 11. He binds the hole. Murray kicks it up and through the uprights, and the extra point is good. So with 151 left to go here in the third quarter, North Quincy takes a 17-point lead down the other end of the field. North Quincy is again able to take advantage of the short field position. Started with the ball at the DY 28 yard line after the big sack by North Quincy uh, by Harry Guadiano. And then five plays later, Cooper Hansen calls his own number and punches it in for the touchdown. So again, 17 0 North Quincy, 151 left to go here in the third quarter. Number 28, Thomas Murray set to kick off. Keep to receive. Number 15, Brady Holmes. And number 23, gave it a four. Right, Murray kicks it deep. And it's going to bounce. David Azor is going to take it at the 0 and 11 yard line. Over to the right sideline, makes one tackler miss, and Azor is going to get up to about the 25 yard line. And that's where the Dolphins will start this drive. That was number 13, Ben Snyder on the tackle. First and 10 Dolphins from their own 25. <laughs> Mashnik pump fakes looking downfield and receiver falls down flag is thrown though it's picked off but I think we're going to have a pass interference Tyler Lee got tied up with the intended wide receiver Number 22, Hunter and Isaac, but there is a penalty marker. <laughs> Player shaken up. I actually remember that thing, dude. I, 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 
There's a player down on the field for North Quincy as well. Brandon Baker down. Now it is a pass interference, so it'll be a 15 yard penalty. And it'll spot the ball at the 41 yard line. Pass interference was against the Raiders. That'll place the ball on the 41 yard line of BY. That's number 66, Brandon Baker, is shaken up on the play. Let's hope he's okay. Baker walking off the field. First and ten Dolphins at their own 41. All right, so D.Y. gets the first down on the pass interference penalty. First and ten at their own 41. Mashnik looking to pass over to the right side, and it is complete. And nice effort there by the D.Y. ball carrier. That was number four, Reese Folks, on the reception. Fights his way forward up to about the 49-yard line. Coming up on one minute to play here in the third quarter. Mastic hands it off to Jeremy Campbell. Campbell over to the left side. And he's going to get to the 50-yard line before he is met by a host of Red Number Raiders. One, Jeremy Campbell on the tackle. He's going to be short of the line to gain, though. We'll call it a pickup of one. So one yard gain for Campbell at midfield. Dolphins need to get to the North Quincy 49 yard line. So third and one. Campbell on the carry over the right side. Nice second effort there by Campbell to make a man miss. Gets the across the 50 yard line and up to the North Quincy 45 for the first down. Number 44, Matt Craig. But that is enough for a Dolphin. First down. Ball be placed at the 17 seconds left to go, and they start to wind the clock. We'll see if DY is able to get a playoff before the quarter ends. <laughs> Henry Mashnick looks back at the clock. Five seconds to go, they get it off. Team that goes number 22, Antonio White over to the right side. And nice job there by North Quincy to string him out. And maybe a gain of one on the play to the 44. We'll see where they spot it, but that'll be the end of the third quarter. That'll be no gain. Second and 10 for the Dolphins. And there's a flag on the play as well, so we'll see what it was. Time has expired in the quarter. Right, Referee comes out to the field, to make the call. And it's gonna be a face mask against North Quincy. Personal foul, face mask against the Raiders. So a 15 yard penalty. And 15 yards on to the end of that play. There's actually two penalties on the play. There's a face mask, and then after the play, there's a dead ball personal foul against North Quincy as well. Officials still discussing down the field. But it should put the ball at the 30 yard line.
All right, so that was at the end of the quarter, and they're going to switch sides of the field. So at the end of three quarters of play, North Quincy on top of Dennis Yarmouth by a score of 17 to nothing. That's the end of the third quarter. The score is North Quincy 17, BY nothing. They'll assess the yardage on that penalty. And it will be first and ten for the Dolphins. All right, so the ball is going to be spotted up to the 19-yard line. line of North Quincy. Mastic looking to pass and had a man in the middle of the field, Jaden Moore, could not connect. Number three, Jaden Moore. To bring up second and ten for the Dolphins. All right, second down now for DY at the 19 yard line. Handoff goes up the middle for Jeremy Campbell. And Campbell, we'll see where they spot the ball. Might be a gain of Jeremy one. Jeremy Campbell on the carry. I'm not going to say no gain. A pickup of one. Correction, no gain. So bring up a third and ten now third for the Dolphins. Nashnik <laughs> looking, looking over to the left side, has a man and incomplete. Had Brady Holmes open at the 10 yard line, but Mastic overthrew him. Intended for number 15, Brady Holmes. Number 21, Nate Caldwell, there defensively for the Raiders. Gonna bring up fourth and 10. So it brings up fourth and 10 now for the Dolphins, again at the North Quincy 19 yard line. Fourth down for the Dolphins. Mashnick passes down the middle of the field and again incomplete. Was looking for Ryan Fitzgerald, but they could not connect. And North Quincy is able to hold That's incomplete. after the 11, big penalties that pushed D.Y. up to the 19 yard line. D.Y. goes and four plays and four incompletions down. and it'll be turnover on downs. It'll be first and 10 Raiders at their own 19. So North Quincy will take over with 11.01 left to go in the ball game. Cooper Hansen comes out for North Quincy, the quarterback. And gives it to Thomas Murray. Thomas Murray runs into his own man. Nice push there by D.Y. Thomas Murray on the carry. And that play gets blown up. Loss on the play. Drew Schlegel came up with a big push there that caused that play to be over just as, as it began. 54, Jackson Blake there defensively for the Dolphins. Mark the ball back at the 15 yard line. For the Raiders. 
Murray again on the carry over to the right side. And again, he's going to get stopped and pushed back. Nice effort there by D.Y. And a flag is thrown out to the play. Flag on the play. So the ball's at the 15-yard line. There'll be no gain, but again, there is a penalty on the play. play. It could be a late hit on D.Y. And they're marching it that way. So it is a personal foul against Dennis Yarmouth. Personal foul against the Dolphins. They'll put the ball on the 29 yard line and it is a Raider first down. So first down on the 15 yard penalty. Murray with the pitch over to the right side. It's across the Thomas 30 Murray up to about the 32-yard line. Across the 30. The pickup of three. Second and seven. Under nine and a half minutes to go in the game. North Quincy comes up now with a second down and seven. Ball at the 32 yard line. Hines in the ball game, ball comes loose. But Hines is able to pick it back up quickly. Number 11, Liam Hines. So it was Jackson Blake that fumble. forced the fumble, but Hines was able to pounce on Back it quickly. At the 25. It's a loss of about six on that play. That'll bring up third and 14 for the Raiders. Ball goes back to the 25-yard line. Third and long now for North Quincy. Murray in the fullback position gets it this time, and he is met immediately and stopped in the backfield. Thomas Murray Reese Folks was one of the first people up there to make the hit. Taken down by a host of Dolphins, and that'll bring up fourth down. No gain on that play. So it is fourth and 15. 28, Thomas Murray. So fourth and long, North That's Quincy will kick it away. Deep to receive for the Dolphins, number three, Jake Moore. High kick there by Thomas Murray. And it's going to go out of bounds at the, let's say, at the 46-yard line. Around the 45-yard line. And they're going to spot it at the 46. First and 10 Dolphins at their own 46-yard line. So D.Y. will take over on their own 46-yard line with 7.29 left to go here in the fourth quarter. And yeah, North Quincy on top by a score of 17 to nothing. <laughs> D.Y. looking to pass on first down down the left sideline and it is incomplete. Out of bounds was Jaden Moore. Made a nice catch but he was just out of bounds. That was number three, Jaden Moore. We have another player shaken up. Luis. 
Brendan Baker down on the field for North Quincy. Trainer out there assisting him. I want to thank you for tuning in to this edition of QA TV Sports. Game will be replayed on QA TV Channel 8 later on this week, and it'll be available on our website at qatv.org slash sports as well. Number 66, Brandon Baker. Let's hope he's okay. He's had a great game today. Second down and 10 for the Dolphins. Ball thrown 46 yard line. Henry Mashlick, the quarterback, over to the left side. Pass is complete to number 15, Brady Pass Holmes. And it gets up to the North Quincy 49. This is number 15, Brady Holmes. Pick up a five, third and five. Nashley again looking to pass over the right side, has a man, and it is caught there. It looks like it was Jaden Moore on the reception. Nice catch there by Moore. He had two men on him. Liam Hines was right there, as well as number 22, Hunter McIsaac. But Moore's able to bring it in and pick up a big first down for DY. We'll spot that ball to 31, and it is a DY first down. Mashlick right back at it down the middle of the field this time, and it is incomplete. And DY is looking for a flag, and it finally comes out. Pass is incomplete. Nick Caldwell down there on the coverage for North Quincy. Pass was intended for number 15, Brady Holmes. And there's a pass interference call. It's a 15 yard penalty and they'll bring it up to the 16 yard line. Pass interference against the Raiders. They'll put the ball at the 15 yard line of North Quincy. First and 10 Dolphins. 5.54 left to go in the game. Oh, they're going to 
uh, officials just came over to adjust the clock, say it should be six minutes and 30 seconds. Play clock will be set, reset to six minutes and 30 seconds. Mashnik again looking to pass. He's in trouble rolling up to his left. Colm Geary in pursuit. And Mashnik is just going to throw it away. Number 12. Henry Mashnik under heavy defensive pressure throws it out of bounds. Incomplete. They bring up second and 10. Second down and 10 now for D.Y. Henry Mashley, the quarterback, looking to pass. Over the middle of the field, and two receivers run into That's each other. Incomplete. And it goes incomplete. Two Dolphins in the area. Jaden Moore and Reese Folks both ran into each other. And Moore's a little slow to get up as he walks off the field. So bring up a third and ten now for the Dolphins. Okay, we got third and 10 for the Dolphins. Pressure again, North, and ball's gonna get tipped, and... Tempted screen pass was tipped. It's gonna be an incomplete pass. That was number 64 for the Raiders. That's Brian Nguyen. And that'll bring up fourth and 10 for the Dolphins. Brian Nguyen for North Quincy won the tip. And again, this falls incomplete. So it brings up now a fourth and 10 for the Dolphins at the North Quincy 16 yard line. 6.02 left to go in the game. And timeout was called down on the field. By time North Quincy. Raiders. So timeout North Quincy. Again, 6.02 left to go in the game. And it'll be fourth and 10 for the Dolphins when we come back to action. Back to action here. Again, fourth down for the Dolphins. Mashtuck looking at pass over to the left side, looking to the corner of the end zone, and it goes incomplete. Pass is incomplete. I was looking for Brady Holmes down at the one yard line, but they cannot connect. Ten for number 15, Brady Holmes. Defensively in the Raiders, that was Nate Caldwell. The Dolphins turn it over on downs. It is first and ten for the Raiders. 
at their own 16 yard line. So North Quincy defense forces a turnover on downs for the fourth time here today. And the offense will come out onto the field with 5.54 left to go in the game. First and 10 from the, from the North Quincy 16. Liam Hines on the carry, fights his way forward, puts his shoulder down to get an extra yard or two on the play. Number 11, Liam Hines on the carry. Out to the 18 yard line. The pickup of two, second and eight. Second down and eight now for North Quincy. And on the carry here is number 44 for North Quincy. Matt Craig on the right sideline. At the 40, at the 30, at the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Matt Craig. Oh, Matt Craig. An 82-yard touchdown run for the Raiders and Matt Craig, a huge run over the right side. And it puts a big exclamation point here for North Quincy. Wow, what a run there by Craig. On the board again. All right, so Murray comes out for the extra point attempt. Number 28, Thomas Murray will attempt the one point conversion. And flags are thrown. And I'm going to say it's an offsides against D.Y. And they're gonna say it was a dead ball foul. So even though the kick went through, North Quincy won't, ha won't even have the option to accept the extra point. So again, Murray lines up, and it's going to get blocked this time. And whistle blows. Kick is blocked. So North Quincy, unfortunately, doesn't get the extra point there. The first kick by Murray was good, but they said it was a dead ball off sides against D.Y. And... Second attempt is no good. So with 4.42 left to go in the game, North Quincy has a 23 to nothing lead over Dennis Yarmouth.
And number 28, Thomas Murray, set to kick off again. And so Murray gets lines up for the for the kickoff. It's kicked there by Murray. We feel at the 15-yard line for Dennis Yarmouth. And nice job there by North Quincy to come up on the coverage. White. Brian Rodriguez up there for North Quincy. We tripped up by number 54, Brian Rodriguez. And taken down by a host of Raider tacklers. The Dolphins will go back on offense first and 10 at their own 22 yard line. So first and 10 for DY at their own 22. Quarterback Henry Mashnick brings out the team. Mashnick fires over to his left side and it is incomplete. Ball is a little high for the intended receiver, Brady Holmes. Instead of number 15, Brady Hall. Second and 10. It's a draw to number one, Jeremy Campbell. And ball comes loose, Colm Gary has it. And it's North Quincy ball. Looked like Campbell fumbled the ball and Gary was right there at the right time to pick it up. Fumble on the play, recovered by number 88, that's Cole Geary for the Raiders. First and 10, North Quincy from the DY 26 yard line. So at the 412 mark, North Quincy will take over. Left side goes Thomas Murray, and nice run there by Murray. He's going to get brought down to 13 yard line. Connor Plant is the new quarterback in the game for North Quincy. Raider, first down. Your quarterback now is number two, Connor Plant. First and 10, North Quincy, and the DY 13. Plant hands it off to Liam Hines. Hines, nice spin move up the middle of the field, keeps going. He'll cross to five and get up to the four yard line. Nice run there by Hines. Hines on the carry inside the five yard line. Coming up on three minutes to play here in the game. He'll place the ball right on the five. There's a pickup of nine, second and one. Second down for North Quincy. And number 22 on the carry for North Quincy, Hunter McIsaac, and he goes into the end zone. Touchdown, oh, North Quincy. Oh, 
Thomas Murray. So McIsaac punches in for the touchdown. Five yard run. Hunter McIsaac correction on that touchdown. Number 28, Thomas Murray will attempt the one-point conversion. Number 11, Liam Hines to hold. High snap, and Murray's able to, excuse me, but uh, Hines is able to bring it down. Kick is good. Murray puts it up, and good. Team set up field. The score is now North Quincy 30. So North Quincy DY with a 30-point lead over D.Y. It's been a great all-around effort here by North Quincy. Thomas Murray lining up for the kickoff. Two minutes and 28 seconds left to go here in the game. Back to the 13 yard line. David Azor will take it. Reverses his feel over to the right side now and will get brought down at the 30 yard line. Uh, Azor is put down by number Nate 21. Nate Caldwell makes a tackle for North Quincy. And DY will go back on offense at their own 30 yard line. Mashtick, the quarterback, passes over to the right side and it's complete. Antonio White gets it and goes out of bounds at the 36 yard line. Steps out of bounds at the 36 yard line. It's a pickup of six, second and four. We have a second down and four now as the clock continues to tick. Under two minutes to play now in the game. 1.45 to go. Mash again, pass over to the left side. Nice ball there by Mashnick, and it's complete. Up to the North Quincy 45 yard line. Brady Holmes brings it down. That's number 15, Brady Holmes. To the 45 yard line of North Quincy. That is a DY first down. Actually, again, passes. Oh, nice catch there by number 22, Antonio White. A shoestring catch. Number 22, Antonio White. To the 30. Ball spot at the 29 yard line. First and 10. First Dolphins. and 10 for the Dolphins. 122 left to go now. Mashnick's on, gets sacked and brought down from behind. Nice play there and by Mashnick North Quincy. Sacked. Bring him down. Coming up was Grant six. Murphy on the tackle. Grant Murphy. Another player shaking up. Nice job there by Grant Murphy, the sophomore for the Raiders. 
able to come back up and make the tackle and bring down Mashnik. And they spot the ball at the 31 yard line. Timeout, DY. Timeout called by Dennis Yarmouth with 111 left to go in the game. D.Y. comes back to the field. Again, one minute, 11 seconds left to go in the game. Second down and 11 for the Dolphins. Mashnik passing over to the right side. It goes through the hands of the intended receiver, number 23, David Azor. By no, for number 23, David Azor. They bring up third and 11. Brings up a third down now for the Dolphins at the North Quincy 31 yard line. 105 left to go here in the game. Mashtick in the shotgun, rolling out. Grant Murphy giving Trace again. Can't bring him down. Pass into the end zone and incomplete. Now she's at the one yard line was Brady Holmes. 10 for number 15, Brady Holmes. Fourth and 11 for the Dolphins. Right, fourth down here for the, for the Dolphins. Nashik passing down the left sideline and it is incomplete. Ball falls to the ground, and that will wrap things up here at the stadium. North Quincy, a couple of kneel downs, and that will be it. Turn the ball over on down, so it'll be Raider ball, first and 10, at their own 31 yard line. North Quincy will come out here, kneel the ball down. Actually, the clock is running. I, th I think the officials are just going to say, let the game come to an end here. And no kneel down is needed as that is the end of the game. And a and great first it. effort here Final for the 21 Quincy. football season for North Quincy with a big victory, 30 to nothing over the Dennis Yarmouth Dolphins. We'll real quick run down the stats. First for North Quincy, Cooper Hanson, the quarterback for North Quincy, two of six passing for 33 yards. On the rushing side of the field, uh, Matt Craig, he had the one big carry, one carry for 82 yards and a touchdown. Liam Hines, 17 carries for 87 yards and a touchdown. Hunter McIsaac had one carry for five yards and a touchdown. Thomas Murray, 11 carries for 53 yards. And Michael Gorman had one for four yards as well. For receiving, Colm Geary had the two receptions for 33 yards. For Dennis Yarmouth, uh, Henry Mashtick was 8 of 15 passing for 47 yards. Jeremy Campbell rushing the ball, 7 attempts for 15. 
And the receiving side of the ball, Jaden Moore had four catches for 32. Brady Holmes had five for 42. Antonio White, two for 21 to lead the way. So again, final score here at Veterans Memorial Stadium, North Quincy 30 and the Dennis Chandler Dolphins 0. I want to thank all the crew for QATV that was coming out here today. Our director and engineer was Chris Potter and on camera, Ryan McWade. We'll be back here in two weeks when on Thursday, March 25th, North Quincy will be back home to play the Plymouth South Panthers and also we'll have coverage on Friday the 26th when, North, or when Quincy High is here at the stadium against Hanover. So for all the staff here at Quincy Access TV, my name is Jonathan Clary. Thanks for tuning in to edition of QA TV Sports. We'll see you in two weeks.